What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode. Today, it's Christmas in July. Let's go. Yo, welcome to another episode. Thanks for joining me today. All right, it's that time of the year. My favorite time of the year it happens twice a year, actually, and it's the Barnes & Noble Criterion 50% off sale. So let's check out what I bought today. All right, so after work, I stopped by my local Barnes & Noble, and I picked up a couple Blu-rays. And the first one is Ghost World by Terry Zweigoff. It's actually a director-approved a uh, special Blu-ray edition from 2001. I've already, I already have this on DVD, regular DVD, which I bought back probably, I don't know, it came out in 2001, so I probably bought the DVD back in 2002, 2001. And uh, I've had it for quite a while. I really enjoy this movie. Um, let's see, I, I watched it in the movie theater when it first came out, and... Um, See, the original DVD that I have is put out by MGM. And let's see, the special features were deleted and alternative scenes, a making of Ghost World featurette, and the Gumnam music video, Jean Parchan Ho, and the original theatrical trailer. So when I heard that Criterion was putting one of my favorite movies out, I had to buy it. And uh, so I upgraded it to Blu-ray. And I'm really glad I did. Let's see. The special features on here are, it's actually from a restored 4K digital transfer, uh, supervised and co by co-writer and director Terry Zweigoff. Uh, let's see. Um, audio commentary featuring Zweigoff, Ghost World comic creator and film co-writer Daniel Close, which, who, who did the artwork, and uh, producer Leanne Halflin. New interviews with actors Thora Birch, Scarlett Johansson, and Ileana Douglas. Extended excerpt from Gunnam, 1965, featuring the Bollywood number that appears in Ghost World, opening title sequence with commentary. And deleted scenes and the trailer. Plus an essay by critic Howard Hampton, a 2000 piece by Zweigoff on the film soundtrack, and reprinted excerpts from Close Comic uh, Ghost World. 
So those who don't know, it, it's based, the movie is based on a graphic novel by David Close called Ghost World. And so, again, it stars uh, Thora Birch, Scarlett Johansson, and the one and only, our favorite, Steve Buscemi. This movie is great. I think you should pick it up or you should consider picking it up, especially in, right now with the Criterion sale going on. But those who haven't seen it, it's about these two uh, teenagers who just graduated from high school and uh, they're trying to figure out their lives. And one of them is uh, just trying to, you know, be an adult and become part of the adult world. And her friend is stuck, uh, wants to be independent, but she's got such a bleak outlook on life. And uh, she doesn't want to do what her dad does, what society tells her to do. She doesn't want to look for a job. She wants to be an artist. And she meets up with the, the character played by um, Steve Buscemi, who is a uh, nerdy jazz record collector. And they just get along. And I don't want to say too much, but it's definitely worth, uh, worth watching and worth picking up. So that's Ghost World by Terry Zweigoff. The second Blu-ray I picked up is Good Morning by Yasujiro Ozu. He's a Japanese director. Uh, the film came out in 1959. I'd never seen it before, and uh, I, what I read about it, I was intrigued. I wanted to check it out, and I can't wait to, can't wait to watch it. Let me, uh, let me read a little bit of the synopsis from the back. Uh, this is the cover, by the way. Great cover, great artwork. take on director Yasujiro Ozu's perennial theme of the challenges of intergenerational relationships. Good Morning tells the story of two young boys who stopped speaking in protest after their parents refused to buy a television set. Ozu weaves a wealth of subtle gags through a family portrait as rich as those of his dramatic films, mocking the foibles of the adult world through the eyes of his child protagonists. Shot in stunning technicolor and set in the suburb of Tokyo, where house housewives gossip about their neighbors, new washing machine, and unemployed husbands look for work as door-to-door -door salesmen. This charming comedy refashions Ozu's own silent classic, I Was Born But, to gently satirize consumerism in post-war Japan. And uh, actually, it's from a new 4K digital restoration, which is awesome. The special features include... The 1932 silent comedy by uh, Ozu called I Was Born But, and a new interview with film scholar David Bordwell, new video essay on Ozu, use of humor by critic David Carnes, fragment of a straightforward boy in 1929 silent film by Ozu, plus an essay by critic Jonathan Rosenbaum. So uh, I picked this up. Can't wait to watch it. Uh, those are the two. Oh. That's right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more videos like this or you don't really like my, uh, my film videos, then go ahead and leave a comment below. And uh, also, I have a podcast called Rights, Beans, and Revolution.
You can uh, go to www.ridesbeansandrevolution.net or you can find us on iTunes, Google Play Music, Stitcher. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Love you. A little bit. All right, cut.